Well, as opposed to a national government, having that majority in the parliament isn't as important because, of course, you don't form a government out of a parliamentary majority, but it makes a big difference in a couple key areas. One is kind of ceremonial things. Those two parties, the center left and the center right, have always divided the position of European Parliament president between them. Now that will be no more. Um, and of course, when you need a majority for legislation in the parliament, Having, the, having that majority becomes very important because you need a majority to approve any law in the parliament. But the first big test of this is going to be when it comes time for the European Parliament to confirm the new European Commission president. We're going to have a meeting tomorrow of EU leaders where they're going to start discussions about who to appoint for that position. But whoever they appoint needs a majority confirmation in the European Parliament. And for the first time ever, just having the support of those two main centrist parties will not be enough. So as you say, they're going to need to form a coalition with the Liberals, with the Greens, maybe with both. Uh, perhaps uh, there could be uh, the ECR, the Eurosceptic group, maybe they could be brought in. Uh, it's going to be some tricky coalition talks, which the European Parliament hasn't really had to do in its whole existence, because up until now, those two major groups were able to divide the spoils of elections between them in a grand coalition.